Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the Internal Revenue Service. Welcome to my YouTube station. Uh, this is the home of the five minute or less video. I don't need a, a fancy suit, a script, or uh, all these books behind me. I have all my knowledge in my head. I've been doing this for 50 years. I've worked over 10,000 cases. I'm on the news a lot. You can see all my interviews at 777 irs.com i have a whole team of former irs agents and we are national experts in any subject that we really uh, talk about uh as far as any irs uh, irs matters uh, irs matters go so today i want to go ahead and, and talk to you about the ways of reducing your irs tax debt and what they are there's a lot of crap on the internet uh, what I when I started this my son gave me an idea he said dad why don't you go ahead and start a YouTube station I says oh Sean I really don't do that I says there's no reason to no one's gonna listen to me he says dad you you have a bunch of information in your head you just should share it so I do I just fire away and tell you everything you need to, to, to know um, so anyway, I want to tell you about the only ways you can get rid of your IRS debt. It's the only ways you can. First of all, you can file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy proceeding if you're eligible. To be eligible for a Chapter 7, your taxes have got to be three years or older. They have to be uh, assessed for 240 days and your tax returns must be filed for two years. So a chapter seven is one of the day ways you can re reduce your debt. Number two, you can completely reduce your debt by the statute of uh, limitations expiration. Well, how, how does that work? The IRS has 10 years to collect the money. At the end of that 10 years, if IRS does not collect the money, guess what? Uh, your, 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 everything goes away. But I should tell you, your, your statute of limitations can be extended by a bankruptcy, a litigation, a collection due process hearing, and a couple other things. Those are the main ones. You can pull your IRS transcripts or call us. We can find out when your statute's up and that's another way that that debt goes away. Another way is you can go ahead and reduce your debt through the abatement of penalties and interest. I should tell you this, that penalties and interest are not easy to get abated. I used to abate them for IRS and everyone thinks there's just some magic wand, IRS is gonna settle and because you got a chunk of money, they're gonna reduce the debt. It isn't. That tax is considered, the penalties and interest are considered tax and therefore it's actually budgeted in our economy, you have to have a legitimate reason to go ahead and abate those with documentation and you've got to meet the IRM section for abatements. You can go to our website at 777irs.com. We have a section on there on abatement of penalties or how to abate penalties. It's something about abatement. I forgot what it was. And I'll tell you, it tells you how to write the letter and what to look for and what to put together. If in fact you're going to do that, you have to have a valid reason and documentation supported by exhibits. Uh, the last way that you can go ahead and really reduce the debt is through the offer and compromise and it's the most famous program. It's the pennies on a dollar and everything that you see advertised in fact out there. These are the general four ways you're going to get your offer and compromise, uh, uh, get, your, um, get, get your taxes reduced or uh, uh, completely either abated or completely removed. Don't be fooled by offer and compromise companies. With a pen like this, I accepted offers and denied offers and compromise. The program is very specific and you must have an expert who knows the offer and compromise debt settlement to go ahead and send your offer. Now, if you have a small case, you can try this yourself, but it really is for someone who understands the program. It isn't an easy, I'm not just asking you to just throw us all this business, but we can get offers through if in fact, you qualify. Probably if 20 people call me, I take no more than two or three cases because the other 17 people aren't eligible for the program. You must understand the eligibility part of the offer and compromise program. The two things that IRS is looking at is they're going to be the value of your assets 
and how much is your income and what your monthly expenses are. The offer and compromise set, uh, is circled around those two things. Once again, if you have the money to pay the tax and you're trying to settle your debt for less than the full value of what your assets are, IRS is not going to go ahead and accept your offer. They're not going to accept for any less than the tax. Once also, the last part of the offer is IRS is going to go ahead and fix your expenses. You don't get to put whatever expenses you want. IRS is going to fix the expenses you have, and that's called the National Standards Program. I have many videos on the National Standards Program. IRS will fix in a lot how much you can spend for food and clothing, housing and utilities, your car payment, and uh, your car expenses. So if you're thinking of doing an offer and compromise, like I said, we are national experts. If you're going to uh, try to do a bankruptcy, make sure you've caught, talked to a, a competent bankruptcy attorney. If you want to do an abatement, like I said, go ahead and make sure you know exactly what uh, that uh, what the abatement section is, uh, or what the abatement section can do for you, and if you meet the criteria. If you need us, go ahead and call us. You can leave a comment. I'd love to have a subscription if you need any help. Uh, just let us know by an email. Subscriptions help us. It kind of moves us up uh, the YouTube chain, so I'd really appreciate that. You want me to do a future video, go ahead and give me an idea what that video should be. And many of my YouTubes actually come from you. Once again, I have a whole team of former IRS agents that can help you in what you need. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time.